Hi guys, it's Cheryl from DIYXE. In today's video, we're going to be trying out the new tumbler press. Uh, so I'm sure that you've seen these going around in all the different craft groups, and I really wanted to see if they were worth all the hype that they've been getting. So up until this point, I've been just using a mug press, and if you want to see how that works, I will link the video below on how you can sublimate the tumblers using the mug press. Um, but I wanted to try this out and see if it would get me the same quality for maybe less time. So that's what we're going to be trying out today. This press here is from Giotto. Uh, I do know that you can get pretty much the exact same one from Heat Press Nation, so I'll be linking both of those in the description below. In today's video, we're actually going to try two different tumblers. So the first one here is going to be this image. Um, as you can see, it doesn't quite go to the top and the bottom. So we're going to see how that does. And then the real challenge is we are going to see how a full bleed design does. So as you can see, it goes all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom. This is the one that I'm most skeptical about. Um, to get that nice image all the way to the top and the bottom, you really need the perfect pressure. So we're going to see if the tumbler press can make that happen. Let's go ahead and try it out. All right, so getting a closer look at the press here, the first thing you can see is that really this is a very sturdy press, um, really heavy duty everything's very high quality on it so that was the first thing that really impressed me when I took it out of the box. Uh, the second thing I really like about this press is even though it is a tumbler press it does have all the ability to do other attachments so um, this one here is a mug attachment it also comes with some latte attachments even a shot glass so you can do really all your products on this one press which is really nice so you don't need to spend extra money. Um, the next thing that I really like about this one here is that it's actually got four different places that you can set the pressure. So that's just going to help get uh, those nice quality images, uh, especially with things like full bleed, full wrap. Um, being able to adjust in different places is going to really help you get the best image that you possibly can. So as I said earlier, we're going to do two different types of tumblers today. We are going to do both a full bleed, full wrap, and then one that doesn't quite reach the top and bottom, just so you can see the difference in how those turn out with the tumbler press here. So settings here are still just heating up a little bit, but you're going to want to be kind of in that 350, 360 range. Um, and I usually do 80 to 90 seconds, kind of depending. So we're going to go ahead and start with our first tumbler here. I'm going to go stick that in there. Um, as you can see, it's completely covered on both sides, that platen increases in size so that it'll cover the whole thing. So we're going to go ahead and close that up in there. All right, we're going to go ahead and open it up. Now, even though it is a full wrap press here, we are still going to have to do the opposite side here just because it won't quite get even pressure and heat. Just flip it over to the other side and then you're going to go ahead and put it back in for another 80 to 90 seconds. All right, then we're going to go ahead and press the other tumbler here using the same procedure, and then we will come back and show you the finished result of the two. All right, now to see how the tumblers came out. Of course, that's the most important part of any press. So let's first look at this one here. Um, this is the one where the image didn't quite go all the way to the top and the bottom. Um, looks fantastic. There's no spots that didn't get enough pressure, or enough heat. So that one went really well. Um, the second one here was the full bleed, which of course was the one that I was a little bit skeptical about. Um, looks pretty good for the most part. Uh, if you do look at the top, you can see that there is a little bit of that bubbling or blurriness. Um, not terrible, but not quite as good as I would want to see. Um, down at the bottom though, we actually did really good. There's none of that blurring or anything like that down there. So all in all, I definitely think that the tumbler press could be a great addition to your craft room. Uh, I would just recommend pressing the extra top bit just a little bit longer. So just leave it in just a smidgen so it gets right to the top there. I think that'll take care of the little bit of blurriness that we do see at the top. Um, so I think I'm going to keep this. I'm going to use it and uh, I would highly recommend it. So if you want to purchase that, I will leave that in the comments down below. I hope today's video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks guys.